Well, I started out with mine safety. Yep. Shift boss, mine captain. I had a couple of uh, engineering jobs in between as assistant to the manager and stuff. And then eventually went to Toronto as assistant to the vice president. Then he got moved back to Falkenbridge again. My wife had just, we'd bought a house in Toronto and she just hung the grapes. I got moved back eight, eight months later. Uh, and then uh, I got moved back to Falcon, to the head office again as a assistant manager. And then I had the plane crash. Yeah, because so, you're talking about that. There was a plane yeah, crash. so the plane crash, which I explained all, how it was all set up. They were killed, the manager, general manager Sudbury and the vice president were both killed, so I took both their jobs. And they ended up as manager. And then I, as I mentioned, I'd retired after, what, I don't know how many years I was here, 30, I guess, at Falconbridge. And while you were at Falconbridge, uh, did you see anything um, change dramatically within the company, whether oh, good or bad? 32, or? 32 years. Yeah, what kind of... 32 uh, jobs. 32 jobs, wow. <laughs> Every job. I never asked for an... In a job. I never asked for an increase. My objective when I graduated from university was to be as well like by, be a shift boss, make ten thousand a year, and be as well liked by the men as my dad was. Well, I achieved both of those things very early, and then the other objective was to enjoy life. So I enjoy people, I enjoy life. So. Now, since I'm retired, all that I dance. I have lots of activities. I got. I'm a. My son told me I'm a professional volunteer. I mean everything.